Welcome back everyone. My name is Two Planker and this is Sky Factory 3, A Year in the Life. Well, where are we? We're on day 248. So we've got about four months, almost, what, uh, 365. So just under four months left before a year is up. And in between episodes, I was working. I have got the reactor going now. I figured out what I did wrong, and I'll even share it with you. Right here we had another type of blue port. In fact, it should be up here in the inventory. There it is. And it's reactor coolant port. What that's for is when you turn your reactor on, it makes steam uh, rather than energy. So that's what I did wrong. I pulled that one out and I put the correct one in, which was just an access port that you turn to output. So we are going to get, how many do we have in there? Cyanide ingots, uh, 14 right now. And let's look at our computer on there. So we're running this thing almost at uh, almost 1600 degrees, uh, but we're creating 14,300 and some odd uh, RFs per tick. So we have got tons and tons of energy right now. Um, we are going to make bigger ones, but let's have a look at the top. You can see that I have done primarily the core with the fuel rods right there. My primary ones when I first started were this one, this one, this one, basically these five. Uh, what I did is I kept adding more fuel cores, uh, or fuel rods, sorry, in this spot, this spot, and this spot. I don't want to get the temperature right at the very max. Um, it adds about, I think, about a thousand degrees every time you put another fuel rod, or a set of fuel rods in. So I'm happy with this right now. So that's what we're going to go with. Um, what else have I been doing? Oh. I needed, that needs to go back. There we go. So we've got our reactor working now. Let's go have a look at our book. Let's go back here. So we created the passively cooled reactor. It's working now. Um, we haven't done these ones. We have produced 1,000 and we have produced 10,000 because right now we're at about 14. It's going to take a while, and we'll have to build a much, much bigger one to get up to these two values. But I think that comes with uh, produce 1 million, comes with build, create a maximum size reactor. So I don't want to work on that right now. I want to go over to some green energy, and let's see if we can produce energy a green the green way. So we need to build solar arrays, harness the power of lightning, and more solar arrays. Then also collect... Uh, or from the void. So let's go look at this one and I think what we need for that is over here and it's called uh, digital guide? Yeah, there it is. And I need to eat. Okay. So this is environmental tech. Now the assembler Okay, so we need a uh, holder spam right click uh, on controllers to assemble multi blocks. So we need the assembler. Shift right click in survival will instantly break any multi block, and in creative it will instantly destroy the whole multi block. Left click on any controller to be given a list of all the required blocks for that multi block structure. That's nice. So we need to make an assembler, I guess. How do we make one of those? Assembler. A hardened stone. How do we make hardened stone? Hardened. We can make that. Okay, so that's made. We've got to make that one. Got hardened stone, we've got that. 
Okay. Goodness gracious. This was, uh... No. What's the recipe here? Wow. Hmm. That was quite a bit just to make an assembler. Excellent. Okay, well, we've got that part of it, and that took a little while. Um, I think the first thing I want to make is see if we can make a solar array. Like, I know there is the lightning rod, and goodness knows we get enough uh, storms around here. But let's look on the solar array. It's a multi-block generator that generates energy from the sun. Um, just any block ab above any of the solar cells must uh, allow sunlight through, so we can't have any solid blocks. Allows solar panels to generate energy from the vibrations caused by the rain. Interesting. So what do we need? We need structure block tier 1 or above. Solar cells modifier course so structure blocks how do we make stru oops how do we make structure blocks you know what we should do is we should make patterns for them if we can make them uh, structure uh, where are we here structure blocks Basic. Uh, those are all basalt we can get the hardened stone ones. These are tier ones. We need to make this one. Let's make a pattern for that. And then we're going to need a pattern for this. Okay, so that'll give us our tier one structure hardened stone structure blocks. Okay. Um let's put the patterns in the pattern maker. And we need how many of those again? The solar array? Oh it doesn't stay open there. Uh sixteen okay. Okay, what are we missing? Stone. I should be... How can I hook that furnace up? Hmm. Okay. Well, we need a bunch. What do we got for cobble? Should have a whole bunch in here. There. We can get a, some stone pretty quick. But I, I need to uh, hook this furnace uh, directly to the ME system. That would make sense. I still haven't worked any uh, any more on the bottom of the island. I know it still looks like a pyramid, but I will make it look different than that. Doing pretty good for here. Oh, um, this is one thing I believe I neglected to uh, mention. Let's look up here. There it is. On the ME system now, I took um, an exporter, and I'm exporting the yellorium ingots that are coming from the chicken farm, because everything from the chicken farm is coming into the system through is it the triple blue. Anyways, I'm pulling these out. Graphite, how did graphite get in there? That's strange. You can see I've got 18, but what I'm doing is I'm pulling out of the system and setting it back down here so we're coming through here and then it's feeding directly in um, so hopefully with the chicken production we'll never run out of eulorium uh, ingots and then right now like I said I'm just putting stacks in I'll just put the cyanide in here um, eventually what we can do is we can recycle the cyanide 
into uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the product anyways it's another metal that will go in and you can be used as fuel so you're not even using as much uh, Eulorium or Yellowrite uh, ingots okay let's see if this stone is done there we go I think I must have had a whole bunch in there because I did not put that much that in now we should be able to craft those um, I'll see how structure there and it was what 24 start there we go get this crafted up and what else did we need we needed oh 16 oh my bad nine solar cells okay nine solar cells oops put it down here so it runs. Um, isn't there a way that you can... No. Display. Only craftables normal. Search box. Is this where it gets synced? I think it is, yeah. That work? Okay, solar panels. Hey, that was good. This one we need, extra utilities. Um, solar ray. Solar cells, not solar panels, solar cells. Okay, let's look. Oops, what was the space? Okay, so these are solars. Here's a solar cell. This is what we're looking for, I think. We need this to start with. Oh. And again, we should be putting these in, uh, creating... Where are we here? We need this. So let's make this. Yeah. We should always be making patterns for everything that we're doing. Okay, so we've got that, and if we put these two in, we should be able to craft. Okay, now, let's see. I've got my solar panels. I've got structure. And what else do I need? Solar array. Space required. 5 by 5 by 2. Alright, I've got everything crafted up. We've got the solar cells, the assembler, we've got the guide, uh, the hardened stone structure. I think that's... Uh, I think I'm missing something. What am I missing? Solar cells, the modified cores. Modified cores, and we needed four. Those, where can we put those ones? Right there. Now, um, 
that's west, I believe. Is it? West, yes. So, what I'm thinking, and this is why I'm doing it over here, is if we make it a tier 1 here, it needs a 5... What was it? 5 by 5 by 2 or sorry, 5 by 2 by 5 so if we bring it out here it's beyond this for the shadow so the sun goes right here so do we just go like this now? okay, I figured it out um, I did a little bit of research and so on and what we were missing was the solar panel controller tier 1 so I made one of those just get those seeds out of the way. Get those, I wonder. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, we're missing this. We've got everything that we had before. So, let's go out. And I think what you do is you put that down and then get this wand and just Hold uh, right click down and it builds the structure for you. And we have got a tier one solar panel array. Sorry, a tier one solar panel array. Ah, nice. Now, because we can fly, now let's get rid of this block just to make sure it doesn't jump. Get rid of these. There we go. So this is generating power now, or not now because the moon's up. Uh, in the daylight it'll start generating power and then what we can do is hook it into our power line right there so it shares with the rest of the system. And I think that will do it for the day. Uh, now that we've got the tier one completed, we'll have to look at uh, possibly upgrading to other tiers and look at the void mining and so on. Maybe use the power from those solar panels to do the void mining. But we'll do that in the next episode or further epi or future episodes, not further ones, future episodes. One of these days I'll learn how to speak. But until that time, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, uh, subscribe, and love to hear your comments. Bye now.